Yo, we're doing a brand new 2023 Bronco Raptor. Wrapping fenders, pillars, roof, and these fenders. Anybody that knows anything about the new Bronco Raptor, the fenders are insane. So we're gonna see what we can do with this. We're gonna do an inlay first. So right here on this section, I'm gonna do just an inlay. One, people getting in and out, if I do this as an inlay, um, if it gets damaged, easy to pull out, replace, and put a new one. Insert right inside this section. It's a piece that would be hard to uh, guarantee that it would last a long time. If you tried to one piece it from here and this drop, it's just not gonna have the longevity. Plus getting in and out, it's just a smarter choice to do an inlay and then we'll lay the fender. Set this knifeless real quick and go to town. It's a lot of, a lot of cold stretch. And I left myself enough for a handhold up here, but I didn't want to fight the vinyl up top because I want to be able to lift this up and then see where it's at. So I've got to make sure that as we're putting it in here, we have this little teeny recess and I've got to get it right back in there. So I want to make sure that I can pull this back and I'm not fighting it catching. You can tape it, you can do whatever you want to do. To me, I don't tape a lot of stuff. It just takes a lot of time when, if you just do it this way, I don't have to fight it. And then we got that nice stretch on this edge, which gives me a nice pull right around this corner. Hits my knife list nice and clean. Then we gotta finish out down here. And so I'm still gonna use this whole thing here, I still want to pull this direction so that we're getting a lot of tension through here. So as I go that way, we get rid of any bunching because these fenders tend, especially this back one, has a big curve right here and it comes out, dives down and goes back. So we want to make sure we get any of that tension out before you try and start laying it. So. And we've got lots of room to move vinyl. So even around this edge right here, so we're just nice and clean. And that's what you want. Looks good. It's good. There is the width of about a blade right there that I'm able to just, and as I'm running this, you'll see I've got a really short amount of blade and I'm just, you know, I'm from Idaho, so just a tip in there.
So we're gonna have to get a little pull. And it's gotta come around. So as this comes down, I've gotta be able to get this tight, but at the same time be pulling here so we don't get a bunch of bunching. You know, go on here and it goes like this, here and this. So I'm kinda of, kinda of come this way, but down at the same time, cause this actually comes down and actually starts to go back. So, in all actuality, I have no idea what I'm doing. We've got good pull here, and this is all good and tight. So you can see how this runs right now. This is good. This tells me I've got tension this way, which is totally fine, because that once I lift this and give a little heat, it's just gonna go and suck right in, which we want. This is the tougher part, which is not bad, because I've got tension this way. It allows for me to pull this direction. Ooh. And, uh, I've still got good tension, I should. This is still pretty tight. So as I release this, I can work that right in. The big thing is gonna be making sure I don't have fingering anywhere in these areas. Cause there's not enough after you go up and over, you only have about an eighth inch up there. So if you have wrinkling or anything, you don't have a lot of grab. You've gotta have it pretty dead nuts. this out so what's it say we got 1969 2019 2022 it's pretty sick we've been finding these all over if you look right down here generations of Broncos so you got 1967 1969 1971 1972 I don't even know all the relevance of them M's new cap sheet so when we get all done no squeegee marks no nothing this is just primo gorgeous goal is don't touch it from here oops I'm not sure how it looks coming out of the camera but this is 3m white 2080 right then you have like the new arctic white on the Bronco in the building with the fluorescence I can definitely see a difference you go outside and more of that white light that daylight we tested this and it didn't look too drastic, but my guess is on the camera and under these lights, it might look pretty substantial. We showed the customer, he dug it, it looks really good outside. We'll show you here soon. So we're finishing up right now. The guys are putting the last little touches. I got the fenders done. The roof is done. The pillars are done. Everything's all wrapped white and we're about to pull it out. I can't wait to see what it looks like.